So I, what happened with the with the with this injury then? What, so what actually went down? We we did an event at Windill. So it was my idea to do a status event. Just the status is obviously a specialized short travel. Mm -hmm. uh, they wanted to push it. I thought it'd be great to do an event. Um, we organized it between us. Windill stepped up and organized loads of things. We had like a whip off. Everyone got tie dye t shirts. Okay. So, like, it was actually insane. There was like <laughs> 200 people wearing the same t shirt riding in the woods. Because you got one when you signed on. So, okay. literally, everyone was wearing one of these t shirts. That's pretty had, cool. Like, the whip off was sick. Red Bull were there with their Land Rover with the speakers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they were driving through the woods. So, like, when you were at the jump, you were at, like, the epicenter of the noise. Ooh, okay. We had a kid with a loud hailer. It was like, just, it was like, this event's going very well. All, <laughs> all of Specialized were nodding. We were all, we were like, this is. Everyone's nodding. We were like, fucking hell, it's going to be a big one at the pub tonight. Everyone's stoked. Yeah. And then we went to the high jump, and I would basically built this with Luke Barber, who was, like, running window at the time. And we built essentially a spine on the back of the pro line. So it was a very good jump. Like you could go in five mile an hour and you could go 20 foot on top of it. Mm. And we, do we built this high jump out of like some posts. Probably it went up unreasonably tall. Like you're like, I'm never going to be that high. And as the event went on, people went out. But so many kids were doing insane heights because... Obviously, you didn't need any speed, so it was all down yeah. to pop. And was there a prize at the end? So they're all just like, Let's yeah, they're it. like, they're going to get a t shirt at the end of this. <laughs> they're just, yeah, stoked. So we ended up, like, I think it was me and one guy at the end. Georgia from Specialized, who's my boss, was like, you literally can't win this. Like, you're going to win a specialized product. Like, just let somebody else win. And I can't remember why. I just thought, I'll just do it again. Like, I'll just get it. He'll probably get it as well. And then. When it came down to it, I thought I might scrub underneath because I thought that would be funny to go like, under the bar. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, decided to go over it. I'd done it 30 times in the past 20 minutes. And just in the air, and you know, you're just a little bit unbalanced. Had to put my leg out. Mm. And I was like, oh, you know, several things went from mine. Should I dump the bike or should I try and ride it out? Whatever. But I decided the one leg lander, which is you've used 6,000 times in your life. But obviously I was falling from about 30 foot up in the air onto a pretty steep landing. So the moment I landed, my ankle went to the sky that way oh. and my tib come out from the side. And I knew it was a heavy impact, but didn't really think much of it. Had a little roll around on the floor. <laughs> And then I lifted my leg up and thought, I wonder what my leg looks like. Mm. And I could see the tip poking out, covered in mud. And my first thought is, while I've got adrenaline, I'll just pop that back in. So I grabbed my foot and then it literally occurred to me that it's covered in mud. So I'm like, there's not really very much I can do about Jeez. that. So I just lay back and obviously the crowd dispersed very fast. <laughs> They apparently there is some amazing videos out there. Really? Like someone will probably comment an amazing video. But like mm. slow-mo where you can see my tib poking into the floor. And Have you seen them? I've seen a, like one or two. Yeah. But I got sent one while I was in the ambulance. They were like, it might be a bit soon, but do you want the vid? And I'm like, yeah, definitely want the video. <laughs> and that was the one I put on Instagram. It ended up getting like 5 million views or something. People are just horrible, aren't they? They just want to see, yeah. they just want to see the fail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're all guilty of yeah. it, but yeah. You're playing the algorithm while yeah. you're in the ambulance. Oh, my God. So what God. were you thinking when it, when your bone is covered? Um, in, like, I've never seen... I, I mean, I was, in, no. I was in fairly good spirits, really. As, as bad a situation as it could be, I wasn't in the woods on my own. True. And when, when I lay back, a medic was there. Like, he had already grabbed me and been like, just lay, just lean back. So I had gas and air within about three minutes. Really? Yeah, so the adrenaline hadn't even worn off then. Yeah. And I can honestly say it was like a five out of 10 pain, it, but it wasn't even, I think your body apparently just disconnects and it's just like, that's not your leg anymore. Don't worry about that, mate. Yeah, <laughs> don't think about it. <laughs> Puts the screens up, yeah. don't look at it, <laughs> no point. So it like got tourniqueted, they flew a doctor in on a on an um, air ambulance. And he came in and he prescribed me morphine on the floor. Right. So then uh, everyone, you know, all my friends picked me up in a stretcher and took me out to the ambulance. Didn't take me on the helicopter. 
thought I was going to get my national insurance back there. <laughs> but <laughs> now nah, they said I was in far too good spirits to go in the helicopter. Oh, really? They had other stuff to deal with. And I was like, come back in a minute. Let me scream a bit more and I'll get helicopter. Right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hour and a half later, I went to hospital and um, I was there for 11 days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it had skin grafts and... Is that why? There was no... Was the complications? It wasn't really... Compl- days was they, just like I had to have two surgeries because the first surgery, they basically took a, a bit of skin from this leg yeah. and like wrapped it over where... Because they, they had to cut a huge hole around where the bone come out because it, they were worried it was all infected, basically. Because mm. if, if the infection gets to your ankle, it's like, game over, they're just going to chop it off. Yeah. So they cut like a safe amount out. I suppose you're under when they deal with because with an open wound like that, it's yeah. really, really dangerous, isn't it? When especially if you're saying you can see your bone with yeah. dirt on it. Yeah. So they, I think they use like ten liters of fluid, like within twenty minutes of me arriving at hospital, they just cleaned the hell out of it while it was all still fresh, mm. and they gave me that that stuff where you're like still awake but you don't care. <laughs> like Ketamine. <they'd>, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. They gave it to me, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Good <laughs> I point. was just looking at the sky, and I could hear people talking, like looking at the ceiling. I could hear people talking. And I was just, you know, just it. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, That's but yeah, super. Two su- two surgeries. And I was thinking I was I was under for like thirteen hours all in or something. Yeah. And they did some mad jiggery pokery on it, mm. and I've got quite an ugly leg now. Right. But I can still wiggle my toes, so I think I'll take that as a definitely as man. a plus. Yeah, yeah too definitely. right, too right. Yeah. What uh, what I always think you're really upbeat about it. I just think like injuries aren't that easy. Yeah. Do you know? I think the worst the worst time was it was hot. It was August. I think it was like twenty five thirty, which in the UK, as we all know, is Mate. disgusting. <laughs> and I was in this. It was an air con- no, it was a non air conditioned private room, so I can't really be like that bad about it because yeah. I had a private room. But um, it was just so hot. Right. Sat there in like boxes, and because I'd had the skin graft, they put your leg under a heater to <sighs> to keep all the the blood vessels as big as possible to keep to try and keep the blood flap alive. Right. So I had this heater heating my leg up, and I'm sat there just sweating. <sighs> like you can't and they. They monitor how much you drink. Okay. So obviously you're just drinking at a rapid rate and you're pressing the button like, I need more water. It's <laughs> so hot in here. Uh, and it was just like, that was probably the worst time. And obviously five out of 10 pains, not that bad. But after six or seven days, yeah, it, it's getting to you and you yeah. are fed up. Big time. And then obviously I got home and you're just like, oh, <laughs> this is, this is better. Yeah. Went straight to, I went actually back to my mum and dad's house. Because I thought it was pretty horrible of me to go back to a house with just my girlfriend in it and be like, get me this, get me that, I need this. So I went back to my mum and dad's and I just watched TV for two months. Did you, yeah? Yeah. Was it two months? Yeah, I literally would go on YouTube, I'd find someone's channel and I'd just watch everything. (laughs) What like? What's the thing? Give us a Um, number one recommendation. The best one was, I think you told me about... um, Digger Recovery. Oh, like, brilliant. Yeah, di- yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> People would like call someone to come and get their digger out of a hole. And I thought, oh, I'll just give it a go. And I found this guy. He was an absolute cowboy. His, <laughs> his name's Heavy D. <laughs> and yeah. everything he does is like so against health and safety. Oh, <laughs> like, you know, they're like pulling chains and there's someone stood in between the middle. <laughs> and you're like, he's going to die. <laughs> so yeah, I've just like, I watched like, a lot of his videos right because they're so out there you know like he'll turn it with a military lorry and drag a digger out of a hole and you're just like that was a good 40 minutes did you try <laughs> not to watch biking i know you're someone who rides um, a lot so i i personally ride a lot as well and i yeah. try and not watch think, too much biking. i think within <laughs> within two months i i was driving my mate's automatic pickup doing uplifts for my friends at Tristan. what an episode you did really well though. <laughs> oh thanks dude yeah. do you know what finish it off but if you could put some sort of link over my face yeah i can do that i could put a video right? up on ollie's face of an episode we think you'll love is it on now there is a subscribe button here on this chair and on my face another video we think you'll love thank you we appreciate you there's nothing in the chair now subscribe <laughs>